here as a fellow progressive. I'm so glad to see you're passionate. Oh, just tweeted it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> hey there. If you don't know, I'm Jared. I'm a software engineer of 10, nine years now since I was like a teenager. And today I want to do something a little interesting. This is concept of heaven banning. So I want to just make a bot that just regurgitates your nonsense back to you. And, but spit, like it just validates you. It just puts you in like a little echo chamber. I made a bot. It's it's at everyday tech bro. If you want to follow at everyday tech bro. So we're going to use everyday tech bro to reply to random users. Or we're going to be like, Hey, you know, everyday tech bro is going to be like, Hey, you're valid. I totally agree with what you're saying. So first thing is, how's this going to work? How's this going to work? By the way, we're building this, we're using Selenium, we're using Python. Um, and we're going to use Llama 2 to just to actually prompt here. So we pass in the user we want to, and by the way, heaven banning is more so the feeds. We're not doing the feeds, we can't, I can't, we're not doing that right now. I can't like manipulate what someone's feed looks like, but, but we're going to do it through replies. We're going to create like little sycophant replies for people. That are just like, yeah, you're right about the, th you're right about the current thing. We pass in the user we want to have and ban. We learn, we scrape that user's posts to learn. And it's like heaven banning because it's like you're just surrounded by people <laughs> that agree with you, which is like not good, by the way. I'm doing this because I know, I, I've been in tech for a, a, since I was like a, a teenager like early teenager and working at different companies i know at this point that this is real this is gonna happen i'm just telling you that's this is how these companies think <laughs> they're like how do we get people to not hate us it's very insecure okay we scrape uh the the imputed imputed users post to learn what they like we, we make a prediction to Llama 2, very simple, to create a reply based on this user's, on who this user, this user opinion, their ideology, ideology, that's what we're doing. <laughs> We're making an ideology bot. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. So we have to, when we script their posts, we'll make a, we'll ask Llama 2 to be like, what is this person's ideology? I want to see if this actually works. Or we want to be like, okay, here's like the last 10 Twitter posts they have. Like, tell me like, what is this person's ideology? Yeah, I'm just, so this is just installing. So we're using Selenium. We're using Chrome. Got to get your import straight. So user to ban, it's glad. So this is, it's cool. I'm using, I'm trying to make sure a lot of these streams are using a lot of the same concepts to make it very easy for me to just, just like move this code around. Cause if you don't copy your code, you're not even close to 10 because copying code is like, it's like beautiful. It's like, you're, you're just getting involved with, with, uh, the world, the, you're just like, like, if you don't copy other people's code, you're not, you don't even love them. That's a, it's a form of love to copy someone's code. And when you copy your, your own code, which is what I'm doing right now, that's even better. That's self love. We have a login script. We'll do some scaffolding real quick. We have a, a script to let, we're going to have something. Oh, we already started writing. We're gonna have to scrape user tweets, scrape recent user tweets. And then we'll say, we'll make it, we'll start with the top 10 tweets they had. And we're going to like figure out ways to get sentiment off of their recent tweets. And we're going to say, hey, we're going to teach the bot with prompt finds. And we're just going to like prompt with our LLM prompts. We're going to say, hey, figure out whether or not, like try to be like this guy based on these last 10 tweets. We're gonna have to make sure we only scrape tweet scrape tweets that are that the user actually posted. And then we're gonna have to have something to say 
get the scrape. Really, all we have to do is. Oh no, we have to scrape. We have to have a routine to reply to recent thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and this is gonna. All this is gonna do is, and we have to. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's do this too. This one's fine. This one's fine. We have to get their ideology and store it. The ideology is going to be on the heaven bot. So this is going to be the user ideology. This is going to be a string that is related to their recent tweets that we summarize using Llama 2. So we're going to be capturing their ideology using all these recent things. And then let me, let me run this. Nice. And, and then, so we have to also have a routine to reply to the recent thread. So we're going to get a recent thread that the user has. And then we're going to be using this user ideology to prompt the, uh, we have to actually pass in our, our LLM. This is going to be the LM that we're going to use. We're going to have a super simple, super simple, uh, and this will be, and we'll, we'll just pass in the model name. Super simple class here. I like having setups like these and just like always setting up my classes because I like to start out with a little bit of structure, but not too much structure. So these are kind of some God classes here. All right, so let's get our LLM. And we don't have to pass in anything to it. And then we're going to pass that in here. So we have our bot. And the way this is going to run is we're going to have our bot. Yeah, we're just going to first. We'll, we'll just run the routine here. Logging in is everyday tech bro. Oh, did it just work? Okay. I think we just logged in. Nice. Yeah, we'll just use them. I wanted to just use like a normal person, but that's fine. All right. Only because this is probably better. I don't want to like just target some random person. It's like a very popular account. We'll be nice. We'll be nice today. I think we can get all the articles that have data test ID. Tweet. Okay, let's go and we're going to do an end. So we're going to say like get, we're going to make this dynamic. So we have to keep scrolling and getting new uh, tweets that match our parameters. So we're getting all the articles that have data test ID tweet. Five makes sense. We don't want any that are reposts. So let's filter out. Let's figure out how to, yeah. Let's figure out how to filter out reposts. We got to make sure if it has whatever this is, don't like, like skip it. We get the prompt for, get, for guessing ideology and we'll pass in the user to ban tweets. And then we'll do self LM. This is the prompt. We got to write the prompt. And then. We generate it. We get the output. We got to parse the output. Because I don't want to log in like every time. We, we would get rate limited, I think. Um, okay. So let's get the LLM. Let's, let's make this prompt. Okay. So this will be like, you are a, we're telling the system what it is. You are a, oh wait, we're making the ideology bot. You are a 
intelligent you have to you must guess the twitter users political identity i think it's running llama yep i see forward passes in the call stack so we're running llama okay it's what okay based on the tweets it appears that the twitter users political ideology is leaning towards the left or liberal side with a focus on social justice and critical views on authority figures and institutions their cultural identity seems to be centered around intellectualism and it's, oh, it actually got the irony part. So it's wrong about Cat Territ is definitely not a liberal, um, but it is it is like a sense of irony in their use of sarcasm and pop culture effort. Nice. So we got the ideology of the user. Now we can make a reply. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. So now we can actually automate replying to a per the user. So the reply to recent threads, all this is doing is saying first get the user's tweet. User's most <coughs> recent tweet. Get the text and the link. Go to the link. Generate reply using reply prompt, which takes in the tweet text and the ideology. Post the reply. I don't know if we can automate posting the reply easy. Cool. So now we want to use this. So you are an intelligent bot that replies to Twitter. We have this. Let's just do it. So we're logging in. What? Uh-oh. We're getting timed out. We're battling elon right now we may have to they do see it as suspicious is there a way to get around that how do we get around that oh david you mean like run locally and use the selenium as a server to get the llama stuff so like yeah yeah, I think that that's actually, I might do that. All right, I'm gonna move this code on the local and then we're gonna make this, turn this into a server. Yeah, it still has the invalid cookie domain. Can't set cookies cross domain. Why would that be related here? Oh, is that what you were saying? Oh, I see what you were saying. I get, I get what you're saying with the cross domain thing. Oh, you know why? Because the driver get didn't happen yet. I get what you're saying. Looks like looks like the commenting guy was right. I gotta go to the page first and check. I commenting guy's redeemed. <laughs> the cat's good. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Thank you, commenting guy. Getting the ideology, asking the LLM, run the LLM. I don't think it's doing it. Let's see, is it gonna post it? Is it gonna post it? Yeah, yay! <laughs> How far you come? He's such a, look at him, look at him. He's such a sycophant, such a sicko. We got an error. They couldn't find the tweet button. I don't know who someone mentioned to 
on the server locally. I don't know who you are, but like, thank you. <laughs> this is exactly. Please click reply. Please, please. Please click reply. Please. I don't think you did. Let's see, let's see what Everyday Tech Pro has to say. We really should have learned from more of the tweets. So, so as a Patriot Lioness, I completely agree with Patriot Lioness's tweet. <laughs> it's important to question, wait a second, to question and criticize those in power, especially when it comes to issues of governance and accountability. <laughs> I also appreciate the user's reference in the litter box. It's going over. Why does it keep going over? Don't go over. <laughs> I said, isn't this the right amount of characters? <laughs> Fine. Let's pick. Let's actually read more tweets this time. I need to tell it to really not go over. Hold on a sec. Within, let's say, 140 characters, do not go over 140 characters in your response. Run it on AOC? Yeah, that's hilarious. Here, as a fellow progressive, I'm so glad to see you're passionate about creating a more just and equitable society. Rainbow. It's crucial we hold our leaders accountable for their actions. This is how they talk and advocate for. Oh, oh just tweeted it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> hey there. As a fellow progressive, I'm so glad to see your passion about creating a more just, equitable society. It's crucial we hold our leaders accountable for their actions and advocate for policies that benefit every. And then I stopped it because the, 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 this was fun this was was i mean like there's an hour where i was like i don't think this is gonna get done because i'm getting like rate limited but we went we went around it we just ran it on the local computer elon you can't stop me okay all right this was fun like subscribe if you're not already subscribed tell your friends i'll see you i'll do something even even more fun next time